So we're going to talk about the init function, right? Uh, in a Go program, the main entry point to the program is your main function, right? So you c you can see here I have uh, I have a package main and a main file and I have uh, a main function, right? And this is the entry point to the program. I have variable declarations uh, before. I also have uh, function declarations here for the handlers, right? But essentially, the main entry point is from here on. But Golang uh, lets you initialize things before uh, running the main function. So for example here, I have a package called db, which obviously stands for a database. And whenever you have a shared resource, uh, a resource that will be used by other packages, you isolate it in a package and then you import it, right? So here I have uh, uh, a db.go. And what I do here, I, I declare a variable called mgo sessions. Uh, we're going to talk about the mgo package, which is an ORM for MongoDB and Go. But essentially, I have a declaration of a variable, and the type is going to be a pointer to an MGO uh, session, right? A mango, in the case, mango session. So in this function, you can see I'm dialing, and I get an error in a session, right? And here I check for the error, and I assign the value, right, to my, my variable here. And this gets run before my main function. Also, uh, in the user session package, I create a session map, right? This is going to be uh, used to for a login wall, right? I'm going to show later. But essentially, I, cr I, I, I make a declaration of a, a, a variable called session map, and it's of type it's a map of strings to strings, and and here I have the init function, right, which I assign the value, I, I make the, the map and I assign that value. So these two values I have before running uh, the main function. And they're essential because I have to initiate the, the MongoDB session and this uh, session map here. Thank you.